the most brutal innings I've been a part of. It's just unbelievable. You know when you're getting hit now, hey? <laughs> How's it everyone? Something a little different today. Today I'm playing for the Free Foresters Cricket Club who I've played a few matches for last year. Today's match took place at the Worcester Nomads Cricket Club against the Worcester Gents. This ticks off another county which helped me with my aim of playing in every county in England. I'm now up to 12 counties. So in the early hours of the morning I set off with my good mate Will on our three hour journey to Worcester. Upon arrival we were greeted by our teammates and you will notice that most were dressed in shirts and ties which is a tradition of the Free Foresters when arriving at matches. The the ground itself was lovely and seemed like a great place to play and watch cricket with an old traditional bar, elevated pavilion and lovely trees surrounding the ground. So without further ado, I'll leave it to Akashe, a free forester stalwart, to welcome the team and get the match underway. Notice the emphasis of his team talk was around lunch and tea, the most important part of the match proceedings. Lunch and teas today, lunch will be at 1.30 and for tea, uh, again, because we're not so 100% sure about when it's going to come, we're going to make teas at the end of the game so we can get enough match time in. You've been here before, not my first rodeo. <laughs> not my first rodeo. It's a Peoria, Peoria. I'll say not we should do a stick here at the end before you even know all these discussions. Experience. 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 I'm liking that he's gone with the headband as well. Very, 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 very lovely, yeah. man. Well, he's, he's one of the original uh, one of the musketeers. Of yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, 11.30 start, we're going to do a toss soon, and then we'll go from there. It's got much fun in so Yeah. First time. Yeah. Sackers. <laughs> all right, let's go. Heads. And you happy with the heads? Yeah. I'm gonna have a bath. Right. <laughs> Bowling on a flat one. Just a quick reminder that I'm hosting a raffle where I'll be giving away some of my old kit, including one of my Kookaburra Bubble cricket bats. So if you would like to stand the chance to get hold of it, follow the link in the card above or the description below. Right, so with Akers choosing to bowl first, it was up to the bowlers to set the tone and hopefully put some pressure on the batters. Today's format, like most Free Foresters matches, was a declaration match. For those of you new to cricket, this means that there isn't a set number of overs bowled per innings, for example 20 or 50. Rather, the batting team either needs to be bowled out or bat until they have enough runs to defend, at which point they can choose to declare, irrespective of the number of overs bowled. One of the problems with this format is that scoring rate can be quite slow, however, this was not the case today with Rex from the Worcester Gen smashing the ball around. With a no time, he managed to notch up a brilliant century and in line with the ethos of friendly cricket, retired so that other players in his team could have a chance out in the middle. At the end of the first session, the Worcester Gents were on 193, giving them a great platform to kick on in the second session. But before that, it was time for the most important part of the day, lunch, which consisted of a delicious butter chicken curry. Decent stuff out there. Felt right. I mean, um, tough day out. No chances, but uh, got a wicket in the end. You yeah. caught it? Yeah, you caught it. Got us <laughs> Very much. To be fair, we, we, we let a few slide today, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, but, um, didn't really go our way, but... We'll, we'll get him now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, quick wickets after lunch and we'll be good to go. But how do you rate the seed? Oh, the tea is very nice. The suit is good. Yeah, butter chicken can't go wrong. Yeah, you cannot go wrong, can you? Yeah, man. Very good tea. Brilliant. 
We're up to 70 Kanye Cricket patrons, 30 more to go to get to that ton. Thank you for your continued support everyone. If you'd like to support the channel further, consider becoming a patron and follow the link in the card above or the description below. After lunch and with rain expected later in the afternoon, the inevitable onslaught took place with the batters giving it a whack. After another wicket from George, who bowled a really skillful spell, the declaration came with the Worcester Gents setting 239 runs. Yeah, well done, man. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So after a quick turnaround, it was time to see if we could reach the target of 240. But with the rain on its way, we would have to go at a good rate if we were going to get close. I opened the batting with Dan, who plays for Bracebridge Heath in my Saturday league. So let's see how close we can get. I see better having you on the same team as opposed to you <laughs> bashing it around. Oh, nice. Yeah, we definitely won't say that. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to take notes because we're playing each other in the league on Saturday. Good luck, man. Shot boy, thing with Dan, he ain't gonna hang around, go big or go home. Shot boy. Oh, shot. Top shot Dan, he's absolutely pinged that. Wait, yeah, 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 push, push. Yeah, go on. Good start boy. From the rains that she had. Bye, leg, leg, on, leg, yeah, it's just skidding through a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, so, middle, please. Yeah, no. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm standing up, Bab. He's out of his crease, I think. Oh! No! Right, the hills have now disappeared. Yeah. The hills have gone. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Catch your chance! Oh, oh. Catch your chance! Oh, Dan! Guys, this is not a highlights package. This is just the way Dan bats. Freddie Bailey's still got nervous twitch from bowling to this guy. Oh, bowling boy. Got you, John. Oh, oh my oh, lord. Sorry, not under it. Shut down. This guy is just another level there. Oh, Top work. Yeah. Top work, boy. Down. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yep, push. No, no. Catch it! The other opener who smacked it. Yeah. She's gonna go, go hard. Catch it! Go, shoot! Going. I think you're right, it's just just getting on a little yeah, bit yeah. and coming on nicely. Nothing different, I don't think. I think we just keep going. Yeah. A bit of rain expected later. We're just trying to get as close as possible, as quickly as possible. Little daz ball from the other end. Oh my lord! Chart boy! This guy is just another level. Brilliant, Dan. It's 
is just unbelievable. We're playing them on the Saturday, that's the problem. <laughs> Shot down, boy. Keep going, boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just keep going, boy. Keep going. I love it. It's all on the GoPro. Well. <laughs> He's chosen the right time, I can tell you that. That's proper batting. Oh, the spits feel nice. That's yeah. something to use. No. Catch it! Yep. Catch it! That's a lovely piece of... Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ah! <sighs> Must have been close. Come on. What a 50. Top, top boy. Top boy. That's incredible. This is the most brutal innings I've been a part of. It's been unbelievable. Oh, no! Run out must have been quite tight. Mate, I thought you were out. That's why I made some out. It's ridiculous. <laughs> no, maybe he just wants to watch you bat. It was nice out here, right? Yeah, that's all. What do you want me to do? I mean, it's going everywhere, mate. Right, well, I can bowl it anywhere with this field, I think. Taking a leaf out of Pat Cummins' book, Eight on the Boundary. Move on. On you, on you. Waiting. No. Come in, lads. <laughs> that's rude. Come in. Yeah. It's the most expensive one this year. Sure. Yeah. Good one. The thing is, uh, their wine is lovely. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <bad. laughs> no, no, no! I think with them all out like that, you just gotta wait for your ball now, isn't yeah. it? You can't... Or, or just get bet on it and take a single or two. But... Yeah. 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 Catch it! Catch it! Yeah! Aww. Oh. Yes! That's gone for him, that's in the field over there. Move the ball straight away, don't bother with that. We're running out of balls, Cam. You might be able to get that, it might be in the field over there. Somewhere near Worcester. <laughs> So Dan has hit the ball and we've been searching for it for the last, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, so the game is taking place in, uh, in Worcestershire. However, we're now still in Herefordshire. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone that far. So I'm just going to record all the way back to show how long the shot actually was. <laughs> oh. Oh. So that, that's that's where it was. That that's where Dan's headed, and we've just come back. Oh. Yes, push. Yes. Perfect. Keep him on strike. Very happy to be over here. I'm enjoying myself, boy. <laughs> it looks quite clear. So I don't think rain's coming for a while. Yeah. No! I think that's the only way they're getting him out. So <laughs> don't need that. Um, that's a treat watching from the other end there. This guy can flipping whack it. 
The fall of my wicket didn't change the way Dan was batting as he continued to obliterate the bowling. I can honestly say that this is one of the most brutal innings I've witnessed and was such a pleasure to be a part of, particularly because the standard of bowling was actually relatively good. Ellis, Elliot, six to get to 100. What's he going to do? Is he going to beg or is he going to no, just, he's going to play it safe? No, no, into no, out, no, over extra covers. Into out, over extra? Yeah. I'm going to say over long on. Catch you, Liam. Told you. Where's he going? Six, four. Well done, Dan. Very good. 45 balls. 45. 100 off. 45. Proper stuff, Dan. Well done, boy. With Dan retired, it was up to James and Tom to continue the momentum, which they managed to do. He's on 20 odd and we just have to quickly run off the field to get out to get his box. James, what's going on man? <laughs> oh, you, you know where you're getting yeah, hit yeah, now, yeah. hey? Yeah. <laughs> Classic village. After Tom's wicket and James's trip to find his missing box, the rain arrived and got steadily heavier. This meant the batters really had to step on it to try and get a result. Shots. With James stranded on 49, the match inevitably had to be called off with us falling an agonizing 15 runs short of their total. What's up, innings, boys? Oh, Jay, I'm lucky, man. 49, not <laughs> absolutely wrong. In the circumstances, it was a brilliant effort to get as close as we did, and obviously a big part of that was down to Dan's incredible innings. But ultimately, cricket is played to be enjoyed, and I can honestly say that this was one of the more enjoyable matches I've played in a long time. The cherry on top was our post-match tea and a cold beverage, which capped off a great day's cricket. Thank you to the Worcester Gents for hosting the match, and thank you to all of you for watching. Looking forward to the next post, and we'll see you there. Cheers.